there. Welcome to another episode of Men Are So Smart. I'm Lou Gallagher. I'm Corvette Ronnie. Ronnie, uh, we do get a lot of emails we mentioned in the open, and yep. um, we appreciate that. We, yep. we really do. Uh, we go out of our way to be the most approachable, connectable people on YouTube, and that is our claim to fame. Our viewers love to ask questions and make comments. Ronnie and I do a, um, a very good job of getting back to you almost immediately, if not sooner, and we will continue to make that pledge to you. I did want to mention really quickly that we have a great deal of folks who are watching our show around the world, uh, predominantly from the United States, but uh, we have viewers from the Russian Federation. Possible. Da. <laughs> France. We. We. We, we. Not here. I already did. Oh, Canada. A. Eh? Bacon. Are we right? stereotyping right now? <laughs> wow. Hoser. We have uh, people watching from some, uh, 16 people watching from some place called Unknown. I've been there. <laughs> it's not hell, but you can see it from there. It's <laughs> uh, Australia. I wonder if that's uh, Glenn. Uh, yes. China. The Great Wall of China. We're being seen in China. I'll be damned. Great Britain, which is uh, pretty great. Yeah. Uh, Japan. Right. Mm -hmm. Do Marigato. <laughs> Honduras. Who would have thought? Huh. Thailand. I wonder if that's Fassler. No, that's... Uh, uh, what, what is he? Philippines. Oh, okay. We had people in the Philippines, too. I don't see any on this list today. Mm. Uh, Italy, Netherlands, and then we have a turkey. Well, yeah. I'm, now I'm hungry. The show is seen around the world, loved, uh, and we thank you for that. We appreciate it. We do see your numbers. So hello to all those folks who are living around the world. Uh, Ronnie, our first email today comes to us from, let's see, I think it is Mark in Fort Wayne, Indiana, and he writes, Ronnie, I know you work in law enforcement, but have you ever been the victim of a crime? By the way, love the show. Thank you very much, Mark. Appreciate nice. it. Ronnie, you're up. So, uh, yes. So my mom passed away uh, it's a few years ago now. Maybe five, I guess. Yeah, at least. And uh, I have her house. And I go over there and I check on it from time to time. It's about a half hour from here. Uh -huh. I go and check on it, make sure that you know, the lawn doesn't need to be mowed or whatever. And I walked in one day and you just, you get so used to just walking in, check and make sure everything's good right. to go. Lawn's and lawn. Yeah, pick up the lawn and, or pick up the mail and off you go. I walk in and I hear voices. Oh my God. On the inside. And so I'm able to see the way the front door is positioned. You can see down the hallway I a know little that bit house. and mm -hmm. into the back bedroom. Uh -huh. And I see people moving around in the oh, back bedroom. Man. And I do this. I don't have my phone. Or your gun. Or my gun. My phone's in my truck and I did not bring a gun because I wasn't, I was just going to my mom's house. So I run back out to my truck to get my phone. And as I get back to the front door, there are two people, two individuals standing in front of me, a uh, male and a female. And I tell them, well, uh, you guys can wait right here because I'm calling the police and uh, we'll get this settled. Well, one of them, the female, rushes past me. And I'm like, okay. So what I did is I stood in the doorway. I've, I'm dialing 911 and I'm trying to block the, the guy from getting out. Mm -hmm. He steps back about 12 feet lowers his shoulder. Uh-oh, I see what's coming. And does a full sprint and hits me in the chest with his shoulder. And I flew off the porch. Oh, no. Porch is probably, we landed together. It was like a freaking Mark Gastineau <laughs> sack. <laughs> yeah. He landed on top of me. We're now in the front yard. And he was not a very big guy. Uh -huh. Compared to me, he was probably only about 5'8", and maybe like 155-ish or so. So uh -huh. it didn't kill me when we landed on the grass but we got up and we started to tussle a little bit and all of a sudden he's looking past me i'm looking towards my house 
he's looking past me from where the female ran by, uh -huh. and he, sh he says, spray him. And I turn around, and she sprays me right in the face oh, with pepper spray. pepper spray. Oh, jeez. So pepper spray, if you're not familiar with it, it burns. Oh, yeah. But you can fight through it. And so I was hopped up enough that I was able to struggle on and on oh, the guy is by the way he's poking at me with a fence board that he's picked oh, up that was in our plant weapon okay he's got a weapon that he's poking at me too so they go taking off i've got 911 on the on the phone and she's going hello hello what's going on and so they and my mom lives on a pretty busy street it's one of the busier streets in sacramento um these guys take off they run across the street and there's cars slamming on their brakes mm -hmm. and everything else. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to chase them, but I'm going to play it a little bit more like Frogger. So one lane, car crosses, <laughs> one lane, whoops, back up a space. Okay, go forward. So they got about 100 yards head start on me. Uh -huh. I'm, And I don't think they expect me to be running after them. When they turn, because they were walking, and when they turned around and saw me coming, they started running again. <laughs> so... They made it up to one street. They hung a left, and by the time I got there, they were they were in the wind. Oh wow! So, but I had unbelievable descriptions. Yeah. And in fact, they were they were both black. Female had long, straight black hair with a purple stripe about this wide going down it. Fashionable. Yes. Um, so I can hear the sirens coming. And I'm thinking, you know, they'll set up a perimeter. We'll we'll find them here for too long. They found two black guys on a front porch uh, about 200 yards from where I'd last seen them. And I definitely recognized one of the guys. He was wearing the exact clothing that I had described. Uh, but the other guy, I'm like, I don't know. I Where'd he come from? Yeah. Who is this guy? And then one of the deputies walks out from behind. There was a, a wall of ivy that they were hiding on this front porch. He walks out holding a wig. It was a it was a long black wig worn by this guy who was I thought was a woman. It was a guy. That was his disguise to yeah. break into your house. I I think. And he, the other guy wore nothing. Yeah, the other guy just well, he was wearing a pair of my shoes that I had left at the house. So there is that. Yeah. <laughs> Needless to say, they both went to jail. They were in jail for only six months, even though they burglarized the house. They had stuff in their pockets uh, that they had taken, mostly jewelry and stuff like that. So, but yes, I have Six been months. Six months in jail. And so they got three squares in a bed. Right. Yeah. Yep. Wow, Which is me. what they were probably using my mom's house for anyway. They were both probably transient, uh, but still, you know what? They broke a window to get in. And uh, broke, pulled some fence boards out, so I was not I was not totally happy that they were in the house. All right, well, Mark from Fort Wayne, Indiana, there's your answer. Thank, Thank you, you for your email. Our emails uh, are available to you throughout the show. You can see them on the crawl there if you'd like to send us a private message, or feel free to comment below. Uh, here's our next one. This is from Allie, and I'm guessing that's a girl. Oh. A L L I Allie. Oh yeah. Uh, and this person writes, you guys seem like fun guys to hang around. Have you ever pulled any pranks when you were younger? That's Allie oh. from Rio Linda. Oh, oh, <laughs> well, that's local. Yeah. Sweet. <laughs> Y'all might probably know of Rio Linda from the Rush Limbaugh show. Yeah. He's, He's always made fan. it. Well, it, you know what? I'd love to answer your question about pranks, but rather than do that, I have an interesting story about a trip I took through Rio Linda one day. <laughs> it's really funny. I was going to play in a uh, poker tournament down in San Francisco. And so I, I uh, decided to go away uh, from my house to the freeway that I don't usually go. I think uh, Yahoo Maps said this would be the shorter way for me to go. So I thought, sure, okay, fine. So I'm driving down E Street and you can take that all the way through Rio Linda. And as I start to come up on an intersection, I see something in the road. And it kind of looks like a dead body. Damn. So, you know, I'm cruising along. I reach down, turn my radio down like this. 
And as I get closer, I look, and it was just a coat. It was okay. a coat laying in the middle of the road, Ooh. but from where I was, That's it looked relief. like a body. <laughs> All right, so there's a there's a coat in the road. I go, okay, well, that's no big deal. Turn the radio back up, and I'm driving. Okay, go a little bit further down the road, and as I'm coming up on the next stop sign, there's a freaking boat in the road, in the middle of the road, like it had <laughs> fallen off of somebody's trailer, and, and they left notice. it there. Yeah, It's in the middle of the road. Did you call Adam? No, I didn't call the boat man. I did not. <laughs> so there's a guy out there, and he seems to be directing traffic. I don't know who the hell that was. But, you know, I, so I turn the radio down, and and I drive very carefully past the boat off the side of the road, and I get around that, and so I reach back, and I turn the radio back up, and I'm cruising along, listening to some Doobie Brothers. Everything is going great. I'm thinking, oh, yeah, I'm making good time. And I get a little bit further. You're, never, you're not going to believe this. A goat is in the middle of the road. Real Linda? No, I do. And Real Linda. Yeah, I do. There's a goat, it. and I, you know, I reach down and turn the radio down, <laughs> and I pull up slowly to the goat, and the goat won't move. It won't move. So I'm honking my horn at the goat. Finally, the thing looks at me like, yeah, whatever, and walks off. So I was able to drive by. So, in my travels, I had a coat a boat, and a goat. <laughs> and that was my Dr. Seussical trip through Rio Linda. Good thing he didn't run into a moat. Yeah, yeah I was thinking that's probably next. <laughs> yeah. uh, in any case, thank you very much, Allie. We'll answer that prank on another show. Yes. There's one I wanted to tell you about. I think you'll get a kick out of it. Ronnie has another one, too. Thank you for your emails. Ronnie, give your email address, if you would. Uh, it's R-O-N-N-I-E at menaresosmart.com. And, and mine is Lou, L-O-U, at menaresosmart.com, and those are coming across the screen. Now, uh, we love your questions. We love them, and the good ones make it on the air. Just keep sending them. Eventually, yours will make it on. Uh, that's going to do it for our show today. We hope you enjoyed. Give us a thumbs up if you did, and be sure to share with your friends. Share the video with your friends, your family, your uh, work friends, etc. It's good water cooler talk. Oh, for sure. Yeah. You know, we talk on, we take on all kinds of different uh, topics yep. uh, that some are on the front page, some you'll find on the back page, some you may not even hear at all, but they make it on Men Are So Smart because yep. that's how we do. I'm Luke Gallagher. Corvette Ronnie. See you next time on Men Are So Smart.